In this video, we will learn how to manage contact page information. So, as an example, this is one of the contact page. You can see how it looks like. Also, here you can see another type of contact page. Once you create any website using GetShop today, usually this contact page design comes like that as by default, which is you can update those information, you completely redesign this contact page. So now let's see first of all that how we can update this information and then second portion of the video we will learn how we can recreate the contact page. So here if you go back to the admin area then go to content management and then if you go to contact us then here if you update this information your company address your email your phone number and then if you just simply click on update then this information will show on the contact page in this left side area if your customer fill this contact form and submit that email will go whatever email you will show here also in the profile setting that email will receive the email from that contact from submission. So let's see the other design which is here. In this design you can see there is a map and then there is a contact form but there this contact form does not have the right hand side empty space and some written text. It looks like in the whole container is this contact form. How this design we created. So if you go back to admin area again and then go back to page design and then go to all page and then click on default page then here you can see the contact if you add it so here you can see this all this element so now what we're gonna do we will design this same looking contact form into this website contact form so that that will show us how we can change this layout so to do that first of all I go back to the admin area go to content management menu setting and then menu link setting and here you can see that contact page we just inactive that one then we go to page design and then add new page then give a page title contact us now you may think why not then contact because with the contact name we already have a page which is the default page so we just make a little bit different which is we say contact us or you can say get in touch or anything you may want to and then simply click on update now we created the contact page but we don't have any content yet so first of all in this example contact page we can see first we have a google map and then there is a get in touch and then there is one uh, contact from itself so let's we add the google map so now we go back here add column then we take 12 now we say add module and then we go and take the google map module so we need to put here google map code to adding google map we need to go to google go to map once we are in the map area you can see here share button click on it and then click on embed and the size of the map will be medium here we can see the embed code then just simply click on copy html then go back to your admin area and then just paste this html code and click on add now if i click update then this map already added so now again i click on add column then again i am taking 12 and then add module and then here we need to set the contact form here we can see the contact form click on contact form and then here you can see the setting then here you can set the email also the thank you message that if you set your email that if someone fill that contact form and submit it then which email will receive this message so that email you can set here I'm just setting one demo email any message you want to set here and then just click on save and now click on update now let's go to view button 
Now we can see here is that Google map and also here is the contact form. So now we need to assign that contact page into our menu because you can see here when we switched off that menu from the menu link setting it's actually gone from the menu itself. So we need to now bring back this contact cards page in the primary menu. To do that we need to go back to admin area again click on page design and then all page. Here we can see contact us and then in the right hand side the blue button show in primary menu. Click on this button. Now it's activated. Now we need to go back to content management then menu setting and then click on menu link setting then click on inactive menu then here we can see contact us and if we click on inactive to active then we can see this contact page come back here. So now if we go to our front end and refresh then we can see in the primary menu our contact page back. So this is how we can update contact page information or we can completely redesign a contact page. Thanks for watching.